I saw a razor go up this thing earlier. It's pretty steep. Let's give you guys a view of this. That's a, uh, woo! Yeah, that's steep. What is up YouTube? This is Matt McAdam, AKA Desert Chief. I am in Moab, Utah. And uh, as you can see, all these red rocks, it's beautiful out here. Uh, a lot of greenery. We got a lot of rain this year. And you might be wondering what I'm doing all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm actually covering Easter Jeep Safari. Uh, red Rock Four Wheelers puts on this annual event. It's been going on for a long time. You get a lot of Jeeps coming in here from all over the country. I mean, there's guys coming from Florida, some guys coming down from Alaska, a lot of people from the West Coast, East Coast, all over, and they all converge on this small town in the middle of Utah for a week, and they just go wheeling. That's the really cool thing uh, about this place is that there's so many trails, and they're available for any kind of difficulty, whether you got a stock Rubicon, or you have a fully built Jeep on 40s, one ton axles, supercharger, V8, hemi swap, whatever. There's a trail for you out here. This year, I'm actually not in a Jeep. Uh, this year, I'm actually in a truck. And uh, if you ask me, it's pretty dang cool. I'm gonna show you guys what this vehicle is all about here in a second. Um, it's been very, very comfortable to stay in this vehicle. I don't have a hotel out here. I'm just kind of sleeping out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second here. But first, a little bit of backstory. Last week, I actually uh, got on a plane from SoCal, headed up to Sacramento. Yeah, a real long flight, about 45 minutes. Um, I got on an Uber and I drove to a warehouse where I was dropped off. And that warehouse is owned by a company called Four Wheel Pop-Up Campers. Some of you guys may have heard of these guys. They've been around for decades, actually since 1972, where they've been building truck campers for off-road vehicles of all kinds. I don't care if you have a small Tacoma size truck, mid-size pickup, all the way up to a full-size long bed dually. Anything you got, these guys make campers for it. But I wanted to take something off-roading out here at Easter Jeep Safari, and they had just the rig for me that they lent me for a week, and it's pretty dang cool. You might want a napkin to wipe up some of that drool on your face. This thing is sweet. Obviously it's Ram, but it's not just any Ram. This Ram is actually built by AEV, which is American Expedition Vehicles. They're a vehicle outfitter where they take stock vehicles like the Jeeps, uh, the Wrangler, and the uh, Ram 3500, and they build them into a really capable off-road rig. Uh, this one, their model is called the Prospector. It comes with a steel front bumper with a winch mount, LED light bar. It's got a snorkel from AEV up there in case you, uh, find yourself uh, looking for some fish somewhere it's pretty tall it's got a nice suspension lift on it uh, we put nitto ridge grapplers on this guy here 37 12 50 17 nice and narrow really nice for off-roading nice road manners uh, the wheels are actually from AEV as well and these are uh, kind of a high offset wheel to keep that factory kind of wheel placement it sits right inside the fender line front and rear doesn't poke out too far keeps all the geometry correct so it's a really nice package uh, the AEV prospector uh, it is a Laramie edition ram so it's got all the nice features inside leather seats heated seats vented seats heated steering wheel I gotta tell you guys you haven't lived until you had a heated steering wheel in cold weather it's really nice I had it on the Jeep JL that I drove to Alaska last year came in handy every day it's also got a full-size spare tire on the back we'll get to that in a little bit but of course the centerpiece of this vehicle isn't the truck itself it's the pop-up camper that sits on the bed now this is the hawk model from four wheel campers this is made for a six and a half foot bed so it fits perfectly in this short bed ram and if you find yourself doing any kind of camping off-road these four wheel campers are exactly what you want they're built to go off-road I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on uh, what four wheel pop-up campers the company is all about uh, like i said they're located in sacramento they actually build these things 
in-house from start to finish. I mean, they, they have racks of aluminum tubing coming in where they actually weld all that aluminum themselves in-house. Then the rest of the frame is put together. The top is set on there. The aluminum panels on the sides go on. All the cabinets are, are made in-house. The wood is actually cut in-house. Uh, all the wiring is done in-house. I mean, there's there's really nothing that they, they send out for these things. They just do everything there. Their assembly line was incredibly, incredibly efficient. Uh, I, I haven't seen something like that before in uh, any kind of manufacturer that I've visited to see their plant. It, it was amazing how efficient they were at getting these campers built in-house. I'm gonna try to find a nice campsite out here uh, in beautiful Moab. This is actually the back country in Moab. I'm gonna hop in this truck and I'm gonna head down this road and do a little bit of exploring. So now we are at an obstacle here in Moab called Baby Lion's Back. I know that doesn't sound very intimidating. It's really not. It's just, uh, it's kind of like a hump that you go up and over and then uh, it comes back down and loops and comes back. This is my first time wheeling this truck on a rock obstacle. I'm pretty familiar with these vehicles as it is, but it's not a bad way to get your feet wet. So we're gonna, try to get up this thing now okay I don't have this camera attached to the dash in any way it's just kind of sitting on a tripod on the dashboard so it might go flying depending on which way the truck kind of rocks so far so good now this truck doesn't have sliders so and it does have a pretty long wheelbase, even for 37 inch tires. You gotta be careful what you're going over. I saw a Razor go up this thing earlier. It's pretty steep. Let's give you guys a view of this. That's a, uh, I mean, GoPro bubble kind of makes it look like nothing, but we're at a pretty good angle. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's steep. Easy girl, easy. Just trying to keep it steady, real steady. Man, it took some nerves going down this in the truck this heavy. The brakes were having problems holding it. Let's go through this little pond. Sad, sad day for off-roaders, the serious ones anyway. The entrance to Hell's Gate is paved. Maybe one day we'll get lucky and somebody will come through here with a bulldozer and knock it down and make it fun again. <laughs> oh well. 
Tourism is alive and well in Moab. A couple of uh, late afternoon Hummer tours going by, followed by some UTVs. Load up the whole family and head out for the trail. Have fun out there, guys. How's Revenge? A brand new Jeep. First time on dirt. Hey, do you know how to put it in four high? I think there's a knob there. He's right here, the oh, knob. Dang it. There's the knob. Where? I, I don't see him. it on me. <laughs> Media guys, man. I don't know what I'm Look doing. Look at all this strap. He's got the Larry Chen. got a Chen. lot of strap got on. the Larry Chen special going on over Larry here. Larry Chen doesn't use these, though. He's got right. the, the backpack thing. Larry Chen's right. too to Have fun on your paved entrance. <laughs> Is this what off roading's like? Yeah! Well guys, that about does it here uh, for EJS. Easter Jeep Safari 2019 is in the books. Had a lot of fun here in Moab this week. Uh, got to do a lot of really cool trail rides with uh, some great companies, uh, some great manufacturers, a lot of good people, a lot of old friends, uh, some new friends, always a good thing. So I uh, had a great time, but it's uh, unfortunately now it's time to head on down the road. You know, as the old saying goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss. So time to leave Moab here in this beautiful weather. This is like the best weather we've had this week. Um, and of course, the beauty of the LaSalle Mountains in the background, you just can't beat this picturesque scenery so if you guys haven't been out here to Moab before uh, I highly recommend it so I'm gonna hop back here on the highway uh, highway 191 we're gonna be heading southbound uh, into Arizona right around where Monument Valley is I've never been there before of course it's one of the most iconic uh, picturesque areas when it comes to the American West uh, the Southwest you've seen it in plenty of cowboy movies and all kinds of westerns and things like that so we're gonna go check that out and then uh, head on over to Horseshoe Bend and see if we can get a sunset photo there and uh, make camp for the night and tomorrow we're gonna keep on heading back towards home gonna make a couple more stops along the way and uh, do a little more wheeling and just hang out and you know enjoy this amazing weather we're having out here this last couple of days Nice to see another full size coming through. So we're just getting into Monument Valley here in uh, southern Utah and I'm pretty sure this is the spot where Forrest Gump finally stopped running in the movie. There's a lot of tourists here taking photos of this uh, this little valley here where this road is at but yeah this this looks totally like where Forrest Gump just stopped running at the movie. Pretty cool little spot. I jumped out snapped a few photos uh, gonna head into the actual part of Monument Valley here in a minute and uh, go from there. Not at all what I expected. So it's like completely commercialized. They are charging $10 per vehicle just to get into the parking lot. Alright. Thank you. Give me one moment as I bring
night I stayed in a really cool little area just outside of the Glen Canyon Dam, um, which is uh, what holds back Lake Powell. Um, and uh, it was a lot of fun uh, just hanging out there. There was nobody around, uh, full moon out, so you could see the whole desert in the middle of the night. Pretty cool. Uh, we're back on the road now and uh, heading through Arizona, uh, kind of weaving in and out of Utah and Arizona. And uh, we're gonna be headed for St. George next. That's our next field stop. And then from there on to Death Valley National Park. Uh, I've got a campsite set up uh, just outside of Furnace Creek. But I'm actually gonna be meeting up with, uh, with my own dad. He's, uh, He's an adventure motorcycle rider. Uh, he's got a BMW GS 1200 Adventure, uh, which if you guys know anything about those bikes, they're really cool, like huge dual sport bikes that can go anywhere, off-road, on-road. Um, they're made for long hauls. So he's got a bunch of his buddies out there in Death Valley, and they're gonna go out riding and do a little off-roading. So I figured uh, it'd be a good time to meet him up over there, and uh, just happened to work out that they were there the same weekend. And so we're gonna meet up over there camp with them and hang out with them for a little bit and then uh tomorrow go do a little off-roading around death valley uh, and then sunday we're going to be headed home so for now we've got a couple hours left uh, driving through the desert here in arizona and utah and uh it's beautiful out here i mean it's green as far as the eyes can see with the red cliffs next to me here on the highway it just doesn't get any better than that so we're gonna enjoy the drive Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am in Death Valley, California, actually just outside of Death Valley, uh, near the town of Beatty, Nevada. And uh, today we're gonna be running Titus Canyon, which is a really cool trail. And of all people to meet up with, uh, my dad and a bunch of his motorcycle riding buddies are out here this weekend and they're enjoying the outdoors with their uh, big dual sport bikes. So we're gonna run the canyon with them and uh, he's got a bunch of his friends here. They all got a bunch of BMW bikes and uh, they're gonna have fun in the canyon with us. So it's gonna be cool, a little change of pace to be able to ride with some other people. I've been uh, mostly driving around by myself for the last week or so. So it's gonna be fun, I'm excited for it. Of course, we got the uh, four wheel campers ram all ready to go. Ready to go for a ride, Dad? <laughs> yeah. He's airing down. Yeah. Get My ready. driving line. <laughs> so he's just airing down the tires just like a normal truck. It, you it, would air down. Exactly. But uh, I, if I could only put the cap back on. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you normally run on the street with these knobbies? Uh, we run uh, 38 to 42 in the back, 36 to 38 in the front, but we air down to about 25. And you don't have your, your cases on or anything, so no, you're no. super... Super yeah. light, so you don't need all that air pressure Nothing. in there. Yeah. Well, well, otherwise, this bike is like what 800 pounds? It's about 600. Yeah, 600 pounds. But without without the cases on it, it's uh, considerably lighter. So we're gonna get ready here and uh, air down all the bikes. And I'm not gonna air down the truck, but we're gonna head down uh, this road right here and enter Titus Canyon, where we're gonna come down through a slot canyon and uh, back into Death Valley from there, get back on the highway and go uh, see what else we can find out here. It's pretty beautiful out here right now. It's about 60, no, it's about 70, 72 out here with a light breeze, it's just perfect. This is like the best weather you can have out here. This is another uh, BMW GSA 1200. A lot of GS 1200s here. This is Bambi, this is not a GSA. <laughs> This is my dad's friend, Michael. Hello. This bike is a special. It's Cat's Meow. The cat's it's, Meow. Yeah, I built it myself. Uh, I put about $15,000 into it so far. 
Yeah. And uh, just check it out. There's Where do you go riding? Huh? Where do you go riding? I go everywhere off the beaten path. Everywhere, huh? Everywhere. What is the longest you've gone for a ride? Alaska. Alaska. Yeah, I yeah. went to Alaska solo. I went to Alaska last year too. Yeah, I know. Fun. I saw yeah. your picture. It was yeah. great. Yeah. But I, mean, I did a solo trip. I, I, uh, yeah, I love it. My shrink gave up on me. I didn't think I was going to go. <laughs> you hear that? You don't need to go to a psychiatrist. You just go grab yourself a BMW motorcycle and take off. <laughs> it's the best kind of therapy there is. You can see some of the bugs these guys have hit. Big ones. <laughs> some of them are tasty if you keep your mouth open. Yeah. Where did you ride from? Bay Area. Bay Area. So how long was that? About six uh, hours? No. With the tire problem, about uh, 11 hours. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a long day. That's yeah. a long day. <laughs> yeah. That was longer than my day yesterday. But I'm looking forward yeah. to this now. Look at it. Yeah, you can't beat this. This it's is great. That's great. Well, these guys are gonna have fun on their two-wheeled vehicles. Uh, I'm gonna stick to my four-wheel drive truck. <laughs> a little more comfortable out here with air conditioning and cooled seats and being able to have all of my gear in the back and have a cooler full of water and sandwich stuff in the fridge back here. I mean, how can you say no to that? Now this trail is actually really uh, pretty moderate for most part. It's uh, mostly just gravel, kind of like this. It's a dirt road, nothing really to it. Um, there's a couple sections in there where I wouldn't even say obstacles, they're just a little bit more uh, elevated areas of the road. For the most part, any four wheel drive vehicle can make it through here. I would even venture to guess a high clearance two wheel drive vehicle could make it if you're going in this direction, uh, which is mostly downhill.
we made our lunch stop here in Titus Canyon. We've got the uh, truck and the camper parked right here and it's perfect for things like this where you want to stop and just grab a bite, have a glass of water or something. Doesn't really get any better than this. You okay? Yeah. Woo. I went right through here. This is, well, you know, over there. You can see my turn. Yeah. Right went here. wide, cut the gravel, and then yeah. just right in the wall. At that point, it went wherever it wanted to go. Yeah. Well, at least you're all right. Yep. Looks like he's all right. keep going well we just finished up our uh, Titus Canyon run it was a lot of fun going through there and uh, the weather was a lot nicer up there than it is down here in the valley the canyon actually starts on the Nevada side of the border and then it enters the California side as you come through the slot canyon in here and then you kind of take this dirt road back here onto Scottish Castle Road which will lead us back down to uh, Furnace Creek is where we're gonna spend the night tonight it's my kind of rough day <laughs> Lost the GoPro, fell like four times. Three times. Three times? Okay. That is one better than the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Last time I fell down four times. So we pulled back into Furnace Creek uh, after our ride in Titus Canyon today and uh, decided to hang out with my dad and his buddies at their campground. They are going pretty crazy with the food here. Uh, if you know anything about Persian food, it's really good. It's a lot of kebabs and meat and stuff like that. So uh, I can't wait to chow down on some of that stuff. I was surprised he's using Apple like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh, high school shit. Come and see why we cut up again. Paul, uh, one important thing I forgot. Pion. Pion. Who's gonna, who's gonna cut this? Time. One thing I learned is when you're hanging out with Persian dudes, you will never go hungry. Look at that. It's so good. Some of you guys might know exactly where I am just by looking around me here. Uh, if you don't know where I am, I'm in a beautiful backcountry area of the Eastern Sierras here in California called Alabama Hills. It's a really popular area, uh, actually growing more in popularity nowadays uh, for people who want to get away and just come out here and camp for a weekend and take some cool photos and you know really just enjoy the Eastern Sierras and what it has to offer. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like. Please uh, share it with your friends comment like subscribe to driving line make sure you guys get notified every time i come up with a new one of these videos if you enjoyed it but for right now guys i'm gonna close this camper up i'm gonna hop back on the truck and go do a little bit of exploring a little bit of wheeling around alabama hills before i hit the road home thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next one matt mcadam your truck editor at driving line aka desert chief out